Iced tea break. <laughs> Welcome back to my witchy world, witches. Today we have another unboxing. So this is actually the first time this has happened, but the witches box has come second. So it came before all the witches moon boxes, which it did not do last month. But I do remember that Elena, the person that, the woman that creates this box, did send out an email saying that last month's box was going to be running a little bit late because it's holiday season and that's naturally what happens. So before I get into this box, I have two things I wanna go over. Number one being, make sure you hit that subscribe button, witches. I see a bunch of lurkers out there and I want you all to stick around and become part of the karma fam and make sure you comment down below throughout the video if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that and make sure you hit that like button go ahead hit it right now do it do it <laughs> all right you guys and then number two is that in the last video i said that i would kind of watch the deep dive gathering that they have which is basically a, a big gathering of everyone who gets the boxes and everybody gets on like Skype or whatever some sort of like video chat thing and or they can just you know watch the video they don't have to actually show their faces and they discuss the contents of the box and I was not able to do it when it was live but they do uh, Elena emails you the video afterwards so that you can watch it if you cannot partake in the actual live event and I have to tell you guys, it was it was pretty informative. It was really informative. So I have to t I have to say that the fact that they have that gathering, number one, puts you into contact with a bunch of people that are looking for information just like you are, and it puts you into contact with people who have a wealth of knowledge if you are a beginner, and it gives you an opportunity to directly ask those questions that you want answered answers to it she does it wherever it, it pertains to everything in the box she goes over why she chose the items that she chose in depth mind you and i have to tell you she looks like one of the biggest sweethearts in the world i did like i said i did not have an opportunity to talk to her myself she is very approachable she's very sweet she's very kind from what i could see in the video and she did interact with other people so i got to see that as well so i highly highly recommend if you are going to try this box to check out those deep dive gathering videos or live chats if you if you can be a part of those live chats and uh i think they're i think they're really worth it to be honest with you so those are my two little pre-video things that I wanted to go over. But let's stop chit-chatting and let's get into this video. Let's get into this box. <laughs> Alright, so as always, it comes with our little Magic Awaits emblem here. Very beautiful. It's usually always the same sticker. So we're going to use our handy-dandy knife here and cut this open. And let's see what's inside. Oh, all right. So it comes again, golden tissue paper with a little blessed beat. Let me just show you. I'm not going to show the box every time. I think I mentioned that in my last video because they all look pretty much the same when they come, just like that. So we are going to get that open. Let's pull back this tissue paper. And we have our paperwork. So let's take a look at this first. First is, so we have, ooh, we have a tarot card and it is judgment. I actually like this card a lot. Same, it comes from the same deck as, as last month's, if I remember correctly, this is the same back. Interesting. <laughs> my poor pup <laughs> cool so judgment I don't know what it means <laughs> all right so we have our paperwork here we have this guy here so I will let you see it first 
I am not going to read it because the last time I read it, the information was in the letter part of it. And then also, or like the, what was in the box was in the letter part of it. And I don't want to know that yet. So we're going to put this guy aside. Don't tell me what it is. <laughs> All right, so next we have all of our little Book of Shadows pages. I gotta tell you, there's quite a few here, so I am going to show you what these are. So this is the Worldstead. Don't know what that means. That is number one. Next is Elder Futhark. Okay, that is number two, Elf, Elder Futhark, page two. Try to make sure I don't. This, this, these pages seem very, very in-depth. I am very, very excited. <laughs> um, oh, and then we have our herbs. So chicory root, that is this one here. All right, next up and lastly is peppermint, which is a huge, huge favorite of mine. So this is interesting. Beautiful. I love those pages. Love, love, love them. All right, so that is the Book of Shadows pages and all the paperwork. So let's get into the good stuff. Again, we always have our like little maroon wormies here. So I'm gonna try and take some of these out. We're gonna grab our first one here. This one looks like one of our jars for the, the herbs and bubble wrap here. So this is the chicory root. Okay, again, full-size jars, filled to the top. Hmm, I kind of like the way that it smells. It reminds me of coffee. It's kind of, it kind of has, it's, it's like an earthy coffee type of smell. Interesting, I like it. Cool, very cool. All right, let's open up our, our next little herb here. I'm gonna, I think it's safe to assume it's peppermint. Oh yeah, I can, I can smell it already. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, let me show you. Peppermint, beautiful. I'm gonna be making some peppermint tea. I love peppermint tea. Mmm, oh, it smells so good. Oh, I love it so much. Again, filled to the top. They do not chintz out on these jars, let me tell you. I love these full-size jars. I'm so happy that she that she does this. All right, so, so many wormies, so many wormies. So we have this guy. Ooh, this feels like there's something inside. Ooh, okay, so let's look at this because there's an image on this first. <gasps> Ooh, interesting. So this must be like a altar cloth or something. Wow, really, really pretty. Let me look at it in depth here. Oh, this is very, very cool. Nifelheim, Asgard. Guggenheim? Bartelheim? Oh God, I am butchering these. Muspel Muspelheim? Hell? 
and Van Vanaheim. Why does this sound like all things from, like, uh, like Zeus and Thor and all that stuff? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, but that's really cool. A very, very pretty imagery. I, I can't wait to see what that's for. I don't know if that's like an altar cloth or something. Let's open this. This was inside. Let, let's see what this is. Is this what I think it is? It is. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but they're little... They're ruin, ruins, ruins, runes, whatever you want to say. I don't know. Oh, that's really, really cool. The last time I opened something with staples, a staple punctured my uh, fingers. <laughs> Try not to do that this time. Wow, this is really nice. I'll just show you a couple. Beautiful. Interesting, interesting. So exciting. All right, I'm not gonna show all of them, but you get the gist. <laughs> They're all here. And I like that they gave us this little baggie so we can keep them in here. This is really exciting, you guys. I, I can't wait to play with these. I've been wanting these little pieces, like little ruin pieces to practice with for a really long time so I'm actually really glad I didn't go through and buy them <laughs> I want oh I wonder if you're supposed to use these on that cloth oh I don't really know too much about ruins but I wonder if that's what it's for ah that's so exciting all right it looks like we have one just just one more item in here <laughs> not that I'm complaining these are really good items yeah just this one and I'm so excited. There's a book in here. I am such a book nerd. And guess what it's on? <laughs> Futhark. Rune magic. Ah, I'm so excited. I, what a perfect way to learn how to, how to use ruins than to have a big old book on it. <laughs> this is so perfect. It's such a simple box. Every time I get this box, it's so, it's so flippin' simple. Like, there's, there's really, like... This is gonna sound so bad. I'm not, and, and this is not a bash. I'm actually praising this box. There's not much ever in it. There's the two, like two herbs or so, and then there's like maybe a couple of other items. But it's so, it's such basic stuff. Like it's perfect for beginners. I don't need to be given like a whole box full of crap to learn. Let's just focus on this. Now I can spend all month learning about ruins and, you know, figuring out if that is a path that I want to pursue. If you hear anything in the background, it's it's my dog because she's in her cage right now because I'm filming and I don't want her to knock my new lights down or background down or anything like that. But she's a little sad at me right now. She's a little, a little sad, sad, sad little puppy right now. But this is so exciting because I am such a book nerd. <laughs> I am always going every time I get something new in, in one of these boxes that I want to pursue I am like instantly heading over to the bookstore to find some sort of book on it so that I can Learn about what I just got now. I don't have to do that because it's in here. <laughs> I love it. It's so perfect Tal Talismanic magic bind ruins numerical symbolism so excited so so excited and it looks like there's like some some spells in here ritual of loading a ruined tine i don't know what a tine is but i'm sure that's in here i am so 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 excited i cannot i i can't wait i can't wait to check this out oh i'm so excited this is so great because now I get to learn all about something that I was so interested in to begin with. All right, you guys. So I am going to clean up my little desk in front of me. I am going to look over the Book of Shadows pages and the, the letter and all that stuff. And I will be right back. All right, you guys. So let's go over this 
Witch's Box Letter, the January 2020 Reading the Ruins Box, uh, Happy New Year Lovelies, Divination has deep roots and it's practice and it's a practice that every witch is versed in even if only a beginner. Thank you for pointing out to us beginners. <laughs> in the past we have covered things like the pendulum. Oh, I'm sad I missed that one because that's another one that I want to try. Oracle cards, tarot, and scrying. This month we deep dive into the Elder Futhark Ruins. I knew I recognized them. The focus of this box is a beautifully carved bone ruin set. Comes with a book, reading spread cloth, and herbs for the season. The deep dive gathering, which is the live like Skype video chat, at the end of the month will provide you with more information on how to take your relationship with ruins further, as well as answer questions you might have. My intention with making sure you are all versed in all of these ways of divination is to facilitate you finding your specific divinatory language. We all have one, and though it's not uncommon for a witch to practice a few ways of divination, finding that one that you are most connected with is an invaluable tool. May this box serve you deeply in your spiritual ev evolution and transformation. So I love that she actually says that at the very end, where it's about finding your specific one true divination tool that connects with you. Because not like, like me personally, I use oracle cards, I use tarot, uh, I've used, what else have I used? Oh my gosh. I've used a pendulum before, but I haven't used it in a, in a long time, actually. So my point is, is that sometimes you just have to find your niche. So we, I just unboxed Sacred Space Crate and it had this beautiful like glass crystal ball for divination and I'm so excited to try it. So, so I, I think that's considered scrying? I'm not sure. But I want to try everything so that I can find the one that best connects and resonates with me. So far it's been oracle cards for me, so, but I feel like I want something else to go along with my oracle cards and using ruins is like kind of the perfect thing to help basically like tie along with a reading that I do from oracle cards so I'm excited I'm so excited for this box anyway so we have in this box is the elder futhark ruin set the ruin casting cloth the futhark book the bottle of peppermint, bottle of chicory or chicoroy, <laughs> the oracle card, which is the tarot card, and then four book of shadows pages. So we have a page on reading the ruins, on the world stead, which I don't know what that is, on pepper peppermint, and then on chicoroy or chicory, whatever. <laughs> One of those two. I want to look at these pages now and kind of go over them. I am not going to read them in full, but I want to read like the top little paragraph just so we can get like a better understanding of what's on the pages. So the first one we are looking at is the world stead. Okay. And it says, the ruin casting cloth you have in this box features a layout commonly known as the world stead. It depicts what ancient Ger Germanic peoples knew as the nine worlds of Yggdrasil, the world tree. I, it's Y-G-G-D-R-A-S-I-L. Don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry, guys. Maybe I'll put it up on the screen so you can <laughs> so you can see what I'm trying to pronounce right now. But it's all it's the world tree. 
One way of reading might include casting all of your ruins out and reading only those that fall upon the cloth and within the symbol printed there. The realms of the Worldstead are divided into two sections. The first grouping addresses personal or interior aspects and includes the worlds of Midgard, Asgard, Hell, and Svar Svartalheim. And Yoselheim? <laughs> Sorry, guys. The second grouping addresses external forces or aspects and includes the worlds of Nife, Nife, Niflheim, uh, Jotunheim, Muspel, Muspelheim, and Vanaheim. The realms and their corresponding meanings are, and then it goes over everything. So I'll just, I'll show you again, just in case you didn't catch it when I went over it in the beginning. Feel free to pause and take a look. Just because I, I showed these pages, I'm going to show these pages twice now. I'm not going to put them in the end of the video. All right, so then we got two pages of the Elder Futhark Ruins. So the top portion here says, the Elder Futhark commonly referred to at, commonly referred to simply as ruins is a system of 24 symbols arrayed in three sections or, there's a lot of big words on these pages right now. And this is a little word, but it's it's like, it's done fancy. A-E-T-T-S or ETS. We'll, ju we'll just say ETS, okay? Uh, leave comments down below on, on if you can help me correct the pronunciation of these places. <laughs> or these words, I mean. These ruins have their origins in ancient Germanic culture. Each symbol is representative of its own mystery. The word ruin literally means mystery. And although I did not know that, so that's very cool. And although they are most commonly used for divination, they can also be used in magical practice. These interpretations are by no means definitive, but rather a jumping off point. If the Elder Futhark speaks to you, consider doing research to learn more about the history of both ruins and of the cultures that birthed them. So then it has sections that say Freya's et. Again, it's that, that A, E, T, T. I'm just going to show you because the A, the A and the E are like together. So weird. So we're just going to say et. So we have Freya's et. We have, on the second page, we have Hagal's et. And then we have Tyr, T-Y-E-R, Tyr's et. And that is the bottom there with all of their meanings. Again, feel free to pause to read what you like. Oh, let me show you. I don't know if I showed you Freya's, Freya's et. Okay, so I am so excited to read on all of those. In the November box for Sacred Space Crate, we had gotten a page on the Futhark ruins, but it didn't ex like, uh, explain the meanings or, or anything behind them. At least I don't believe it did. So this is exciting. This is very informational. I love this. And, and then to get a full book on it as well is just crazy. All right, so then we have our two sheets on our herbs. These pages are always very informational. They always come with the methods of usage, the magical usage, and then it's um, element, it's planet. Energetically, it's active, driven, and dominant for chicory root. And then often referred to as the clock flower. Very interesting. So, like I said, these are always like, it's it, this whole box is just very basic to the point, spot on, like there's no fancy wording or extra words. It's just like, boom, 
bullet points basically. So it simplifies everything. That's the word I'm looking for. It simplifies everything. And that is exactly what it does on these pages. I love it. Very, very cool. Very cool. I love it so much. So much. Yay. Okay, you guys. So that's it for the box. <laughs> that's it. I am so excited. I cannot wait to turn this camera off and play with these. <laughs> I am going to experiment and see how it goes. I'm going to read a little bit from that book. And I got to tell you, I am not disappointed in the slightest. <laughs> So yeah, I will let you know how it goes. Maybe I'll do like a follow-up video or something like that. But if you want to see a follow-up vid follow video, make sure you like this video to let me know you want that follow-up video. And leave a comment down below letting me know that you want to see that. Maybe we'll do one where I actually use the ruins in a video. I don't know spitballing ideas here so leave your comments down below let me know what you want to see make sure you like this video please 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 it helps me out so much and subscribe if you are not already subscribed go ahead i'll wait <laughs> all right you guys thank you for joining me today i hope you are all doing fantastic on this beautiful day. It's actually not beautiful here. It's very rainy and cloudy and bleh <laughs> here, but it's still beautiful. I am actually obsessed with the rain. I love it. So I hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are and I will catch you in my next one. Bye. All right, you guys. So I've gone a little handheld but uh, I was going through everything that was in the box and I was kind of sitting here playing with the ruins because I was super, super excited to get them. And I started, so let me just show you. <laughs> I decided I wanted to match up all the ruins because I was having an issue figuring out which ones were which, like um, this one here and this one. When they were like, when I threw, when I was placing them before I had the images out in front of me, they look similar. So I was trying to figure out which one was which. And as you can see, I matched up all of them except this guy here. So I wound up getting these two images. Like this one's blank. Nothing, there's nothing on this one. And this one, which. doesn't match that one so if anybody knows what that symbol is please let me know because I am very very intrigued I'm so, so yeah if, if anybody knows what that symbol means I so it was pointed out to me by um Christopher Michaels I believe it is uh who's your chubby he is on I think he's on Twitter as at who's your chubby so he actually pointed out to me that this symbol actually came on our um, antler piece that I believe was from, oh crap, who was that from? The Witch's Moon, I think. So it was an antler with like a piece of amethyst and that ruin was, was on it, this one here. But I'm curious because I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a piece from the ruins because I don't have that diamond one and I got this one instead. So if anybody knows if they're similar or or what, <laughs> let me know what the deal is. Leave some comments down below, please, 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 please. And I think I'm going to contact Elena uh, or the witch's box and see what the deal is with that. But I'll keep you posted. Maybe I'll post an update down in the, in the description box, but yeah, let me know. Let me, let me know guys. Let me know if I'm just being silly and they, maybe they mean the same thing. I don't know. Or maybe they don't let me know. Help me figure out if I'm crazy or not. And, uh, I think that's it. Bye.